Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm very pleased to be joined in this studio now by Kirill Oparim who is the head of the ITU Regional Office for the Commonwealth of Independent States. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you for inviting. Good afternoon. Kirill, I wanted to start off by talking about the, the theme for this year's Plenipotentiary Conference is connecting the world together. How has your region been making strides to get everyone connected over the last four years? Um, well, first of all, I would like to say that according to latest statistics from ITU, which is uh, IDI statistics, ICT Development Index, my, my region, region where I work, is number two after Europe. In addition, the difference between countries in my region, it's not very big, which means we are well aligned and all together the whole region works a lot in terms of ICT development. There are huge programs, state programs, like for example, in Russia, there is a program of uh, putting fiber optics to all the uh, settlements with a population above 250 people. So altogether, they build like, um, uh, let me say, 280,000 kilometers of fiber optics, which is almost equal to distance to the moon, by the way. <laughs> so it's a huge program. Uh, there are also very good programs in Central Asia. For example, in Kyrgyzstan, they have problem, a program called Tazakom, which is open society or something. Very good program for uh, electronic government and uh, fiber optics as well, and many, many, many other services. Uh, there are good program in Azerbaijan for ICT development. There are good programs in other Central Asia countries, um, driven by uh, World Bank as well and uh, ITU as well. So. The whole region is developing very, very uh, fast and they put a lot of priority and efforts to develop the ICT. What are the major challenges and opportunities there? Uh, I would say in my region it's geography, first of all, because there are huge remote areas, especially in Russia, Kazakhstan, but actually every country has it. Mountainous areas, very remote areas. So. To, to put fiber optics to one particular uh, village, it could be hundreds of kilometers and a lot of investment. And of course, it has to be supported by government because uh, private companies, they cannot just uh, invest because uh, the profit will be maybe not that obvious. So that's one uh, of um, challenges. Another challenge is, of course, to align the regulatory, to align the laws so that um, people can really use it it will not be very expensive. And by the way, in my region, uh, these are quite good prices, quite cheap, to be honest, in comparison to Europe, to Americas. So a lot is done there. But we have to work further. For example, roaming prices are still not very well aligned. So you can really pay a lot when you travel, even in the region. So there are still many things to do, but and challenges are here as well. And opportunities for investment as well in the region? Oh, yes, for sure. <laughs> in terms of the ITU's plans in next year, well, perhaps you could tell us, you know, for the next coming years, what, are there any specific uh, events, meetings, initiatives that are happening that, you, uh, that you're particularly keen on, on talking about? Uh, well, all in all, my office is working based on the demand from the region. So our first priority is to fulfill the demands. So, Every year we do uh, some kind of uh, meetings and uh, we ask, what do you want? You in Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Belarus. They put their priorities, what they are interested. And then we start our planning. These are seminars, training, workshops, conferences, some uh, expert assistance and many, many things. So for example, for next year already on my table, there is a plan for 17 events in, in the region, including um, digital finance, electronic health, uh, uh, 5G, unmanned vehicles, uh, some maybe artificial intelligence events. So there are many, many, many on the table. And, uh, but thanks to our headquarters, we, we are not very many in the region, but in our headquarters, we have a lot of competence. So we involve our colleagues. They come to us, they bring us materials, and they help us to organize this. And uh, so it's 17 events. These are different projects. For example, um, capacity building projects. Um, also, we have good projects for Internet of Things uh, labs, laboratories 
It's based on uh, St. Petersburg University, tele Telecommunication University. Uh, and that is one more, by the way, important thing, that we work a lot with academia, with universities in the region, and the demand is also very high on this. So there are numerous activities, and we do as much as possible to fulfill the demands from the region and from countries, from member states, from academia. What about SMEs? Is that an important uh, um, initiative? Uh, are there, is attention being paid to SMEs in the region? I would say this is next step for us, and that is something we really have to consider, because we see now that it is more and more in focus now, in ITU headquarters and all in all in the world. I would say um, there is an area for improvement for us, for sure, because recently we've been working more with um, administrations, big companies, big operators, but definitely we have to involve more SMEs and it, will, it may bring more energy and more, how to say, more life to all our activities. New blood, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, and finally, do you have a message for, to participants here and, and also to our wider audience as well on behalf uh, uh, of ITU, uh, looking at, uh, say, uh, from your, 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 your regional perspective? Um, I think I have some very specific regional message to the participants. You know, sometimes, sometimes, these uh, ITU gatherings is a little bit like, you know, family events. When people are coming, same people uh, doing same things, uh, de doing some decisions. So my message, please bring this knowledge, bring these discussions to the region. Because people are really want to hear what's going on here. For in plenty potentiary conference, for example. I, I myself have a very good experience uh, speaking in academia, for example. There are young people who listen and they're really surprised. Really, do you have discussions like that in ITU? People just do not know. So that is really important. W what is here, it's not like Las Vegas rules, you know? What was in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. It's opposite. <laughs> so what happened in Dubai, we have to bring as much as possible to the regions everywhere, universities, uh, academias, uh, private sector, wherever, and the demand is very high. Because what is discussing here, it's something that people are really interested now. Artificial intelligence, 5G, this is all very interesting, and people are really want to hear what's going on. So this is my message to participants. Well, we look forward to hearing what's going on from you uh, in the years to come, and thank you very much indeed for being in the studio, Kirill Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.